Hey guys and welcome back to the third of four videos for the God Wars Dungeon 2 bosses. Now once again please keep in mind that this is not an in-depth guide. This is basically on how to get you guys started and how to kind of go around these bosses. But for this video I'm going to be showing you guys on how to kill Greg or Gregorovic. Um, I'm just going to be calling him Greg throughout the whole video, it's just so much easier. Um, but you can either use the hard teleport to teleport here that can be bought on the Grand Exchange or you can travel south of Nada or north of the Agility Pyramid in the desert to be able to get to this location. Once you are in the heart of RuneScape pretty much, all you're going to be doing is traveling northeast, and you're going to be heading to the most northeastern corner where hopefully you find other people getting their kill count up. Because as usual, you're going to have to get 40 kill count to be able to enter the boss room, and it's going to be quite crazy. So let's go straight for it. And the reason why you're going to be heading to the most northeastern corner is because basically there you'll be able to find Sliske's Necropolis, which is where you're going to be killing all your monsters to be able to get your 40 kill count. You will notice that there is a multiplier. This multiplier is basically every single time you kill a monster, it will go up 10%. And that is basically your kill count. So when it's 200% for every kill you do, it will count as 2, which is quite handy. And the easiest thing to do is basically um, just tag all the monsters because pretty much your kill count will be shared. And then as you go around, kill all the monsters just as they're about to die. And you can easily maybe do like 10 in a row and the last one will count as two kill count and every single other one will count as like one point something. So it's quite good and quite handy to have this multiplier, which basically means just don't stop killing monsters. Getting your kill count should hopefully take under five minutes. Um, but give or take a little bit, really five minutes should be your maximum and once you get used to it, it should be quite lower. Now I have been told that Greg is actually meant more for the high level players. Um, you will notice every single player that is coming in into this boss is high combat. So you might want to stick with the other ones until we find a better way of killing um, Greg. But for now, he is actually really hard to kill. But today in this video, I will show you the basics on how to go about killing him. So once you have your 40 kill count, you're then going to be heading through the threshold, which is like the first portal. You run across the bridge just for a few seconds, and there you find the next barrier, which is like a swirly teleport. A little instant system will come up, you just click start if you're going solo, and then Greg will appear a few seconds later in the room to the northeast. When you are ready, when you're potted up, when you got your prayers on, when you basically just feel ready, you then enter the barrier. So once you're ready, you just pretty much go in and start with your abilities and you know your combat. Now many people have said it's a very good idea to pretty much pray soul split, but personally I feel it's a lot better if you pray range and melee. Um, depending on what he's using at that current time, it's a very good idea to be switching back and forth between prayer and melee. It will save you a lot of um, life points, so that's something that you've got to keep in mind. So now let's get started with the abilities. Every so often you will see these pretty much these black dots on the floor. It's a very basic, you just walk off those black dots and you won't get hit as bad as you normally would if you were standing on those black dots. And that's pretty much it for that one. There's nothing really that complicated with that one. It's very simple. For the next ability, every time he says rise child, he will spawn a spirit of mania, which pretty much you just one hit that spirit and he will come towards you instead of Greg. Directly he hits Greg, Greg will be buffed now for the rest of the kill. So you've got to make sure you kill Spirit of Mania every single time. Also something he will do is every so often he'll spawn shadows. He'll spawn three of them. And sadly you're going to have to kill these shadows to be able to stop him from teleporting around. And these shadows will hit you quite hard. So it's a very good idea to kill these shadows ASAP. And the easiest thing is to use abilities that hit multiple targets at the same time. You know, if you can't get away with that, that'd be really handy. Once all the shadows are dead, you then go back to hitting Greg and it'd be quite simple. I have been told to use stuns quite often and any sort of like threshold that can save you life points because he does hit really hard and sadly your only protection is if you have really good DPS is to soul split and get your life points back like that. So it's quite um, a hard thing to do, you know, doing everything at the same time, but you will get used to this boss eventually. Personally, Greg was one of the hardest ones for me so far. I still have one more boss to do, but Greg for me was the hardest. 
Um, I do like it. I do like the challenge, but for now, Greg is quite difficult. So until I find better equipment, um, but this is supposed to be a medium to high dungeon, which basically means you can easily do this with medium gear. I don't really want to go out and buy like the best tier 90 gear just because really that's not the whole point of this dungeon because everyone that's got really high gear can easily just um, tank every single boss and get really fast kills. But they've put in millions, hundreds of millions to be able to kill this boss. And personally, I want to try and get away with not spending hundreds of millions in killing this boss. Um, but yeah, so guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please post them below. If you have any tips for anyone, please post that down below also. And maybe in a few days, you'll see an in-depth guide to Greg. So don't forget to check out that. And I'll see you all then. Peace out.